Hello, my name is Charles Darwin, and I was born on February 12, 1809, in Shrewsbury, Shropshire, England. Later in my life, I became an English naturalist. On December 27, 1931, I became an English naturalist for the ship HMS Beagle, and we sailed around the world. We visited places like Africa, South America, Australia, but most importantly, the Galapagos Islands. The first thing I will talk about is what what we did in the Galapagos Islands. We studied many different species of animals. While we were there, we observed that many species were different than their cousins in the mainland. This got me wondering, how do species change? This started my theory, the theory of evolution. Evolution is a theory that says that animals change and adapt to help them survive and prosper in that environment. The second thing I'll talk about is natural selection and how it's a big part of evolution. Natural selection has a natu natural selection has many factors such as competition, selection, variation, and overproduction. Competition is where animals compete for food, a mate, or many other things. Competition isn't always direct. Selections well, selection is where certain species are more suited to survive and prosper in that environment so they survive and prosper rather than other species. Variation is where there is a difference in species such as a giant saddleback tortoise, tortoise where there are there, each island has a tortoise with a different shape shell. Overproduction is where species produce way too much offspring so that their resources run out and either they go extinct or only the best of them survive. The third thing I talk about is how genes have a big role in evolution. Genes play a role in evolution because genes can mutate over time. Genes are composed of DNA, which changes its code through time to help the organism survive and prosper. Some things that were puzzling in the Galapagos were aboriginal creations and how they were made, uh, a, and, some, and how some baby animals would kill their siblings, which is called siblicide. A saddening thing that is happening in the Galapagos now is that epidemic species are affecting the environment. One of the best examples of evolution in action is the finches in the Galapagos and how their beaks change seasonally based on their food source. All this proof that evolution is real makes scientific theory fact. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.